Hi, I'm Abby Rosansaw, physical therapist at Unity Point Health. And I'm Maggie McGrath, physical therapist assistant at Unity Point Health. Thank you for joining us for our 10 minute lunch exercise video. Um, if you have any questions throughout the video, feel free to place them down in the questions and comments box and we'll try to, our best to answer them after the video. So how we're gonna do this today is we're gonna go through eight exercises with you. We're gonna do upper extremity, lower extremity, core, and a little bit of cardio. Hopefully you can do this in your, ex or in your, your cubicle at work or at work at home. You don't need any equipment for any of it. So Maggie's gonna be doing the exercises right along with you while I kind of describe how to do them. So let's start, get that heart rate up a little bit, and we're gonna do some jumping jacks. So. Yep, I got 30 seconds right here. We got a 30 second timer, which I'm gonna start right now. And these are just the jumping jacks you learned as a kid. You want to get those arms up over your head as far as you can. Nice, easy movements, not too much jolting through the legs. Good job, Maggie. <laughs> Keep it up. Good, so we're at 15 seconds. We are halfway there. She's doing a very good job keeping that tummy nice and tight. You don't want that low back to do any swaying during these. Just trying to get that heart rate up. You don't want your heart rate to go any more than 220 minus your age, so good job everybody. Now between each exercise, I'm gonna give you a 10 to 15 second rest break. So Maggie, we're gonna give you a rest break already. Sounds you earned it. So the next exercise is gonna be a tricep dip. The way we're gonna do this video is we're gonna show you the first set of 10 of just the regular exercise. The second set of 10, if for those of you who want it, we're gonna give you a progression, something a little bit harder if you feel that you can do it. Don't feel pressured at all if you wanna do the second set, just like the first set, that's perfectly fine. So Maggie's gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a tricep dip. So the first one is with bent knees. So go ahead, Maggie, we're gonna do a set of 10. Good, so she's doing the dips. She's keeping her tummy nice and tight. Her knees are bending with the dip. You wanna make sure you bend and straighten the elbows and the back. You're gonna feel it right along the back of the, the arm right here. So Maggie's counting with you, where are we? That was 10, perfect. So again, you get a little break between sets. Maggie's gonna do the second set here on the chair so you guys can see her better. This one is gonna be, the progression is straight legs. Um, a little bit longer lever arm. Go ahead, Maggie, whenever you're ready. She's gonna do a second set of 10. So a little bit of a longer lever arm always makes it more difficult. You can see those shoulders oh, yeah. a little bit. There we go. You're getting a good workout here. Feel the burn. Good, you wanna make sure that tummy is nice and tight. So Maggie's trying her hardest to keep that trunk in a plank position, just moving those elbows up and down. Good job, excellent, good. So we got a 10 to 15 second rest break here. The next ex exercise we're gonna do is for your core. We're gonna utilize your desk chair. So Maggie's over here in our desk chair. She's gonna roll it forward a little bit. Perfect, she's in a nice reclined position if you can get in one. This is for your abdominals and your hip flexors. So whenever you're ready, Maggie, let's show them what a leg lift looks like. So she's bringing her legs up and down. She's gonna keep her feet about three to six inches off the ground, and she's gonna feel it in her tummy, also right through here in her hip flexors, her psoas. So good job, Maggie, where are we at? This one's nine. Nine, good job. And then you get a little rest break after 10. So you guys have all earned that rest break already. The second set of these she's gonna do is a, a little bit different leg lift. We're doing a set of 10, same thing, it's a little bit of a progression. She's gonna bring the straight legs up and down whenever you're ready, good. A set of 10 of these. Now if you have back pain, this one might increase that, so I would stick to the first, the first one we did, the first set of 10, those leg lifts where you're bending the knees and bringing it in, because this does place a little bit more torque through that lumbar spine, and we don't want to hurt you during these exercises. Good job, Maggie. So we're gonna go into some leg exercises next. We're gonna do two sets of 10 of some squats. So Maggie's going to, again, 10 second rest break. I can tell Maggie wants that 10 seconds that she gets. Yes. So she's gonna turn sideways and face me so you guys can see her better. But we're gonna do, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, just like this, just like Maggie has them. Go ahead and show them a squat. Good, she's getting down nice and low. For those of you who can't get down that, that, that low, that's fine. Um, we're doing a set of 10 of these. And 10 is just a starting point. For those of you who think you can do more, say tomorrow or the next day, feel free to up that. But you wanna make sure, so Maggie's bringing her knees just a little bit further forward than she's supposed to. Your knees, you really don't wanna go much past your, your, your toes there in the front. So, excellent job, Maggie. And 10 second rest break, doing a good job. Her second set of these, the progression, is a squat jump. 
So she's gonna actually be jumping up in the air. You might miss half of her head at the top, but she's gonna get nice and low. Go ahead whenever you're ready, and she's gonna give you a little jump. Now you wanna make sure the jump is nice and easy on the legs. You don't want too much pressure going through those joints, through your legs and, and your hips. So she's doing a really good job. Your, your jump doesn't have to, be, have to be too high. Where are you feeling that, Maggie? I'm feeling it in my quads and in my glutes. Very good, that's exactly where you're supposed to be feeling it. Good, was that 10? Excellent, good. So these are going nice and fast, nice and easy. You're doing an excellent job. Another 10 to 15 second rest break here. We're gonna go back into the cardio, making sure you keep that heart rate up. When you exercise for the 10, 15 minutes, it's not, it's not a very long exercise time. So you wanna keep your heart rate up the whole time you're doing it. So Maggie's gonna show you the 30 seconds, ready, of, of high knees, go. Good, so what Maggie's doing right here is high knees at a nice clip. She's going fast, she's doing it, she's getting it done. Now those of you whose heart rate's already up, you can go ahead and go slower. Maggie, why don't we show them a little bit slower? You can do a hop too. Get those knees nice and high. Another variation of this is a march, just a high knees march, getting those knees up nice and easy, good. But again, you're just trying to keep your heart rate up, making sure that that cardiovascular system is getting a workout along with the body strengthening exercises we're doing. You got two seconds left. Good, good job everybody. Everybody's doing awesome. So the next one is a push-up. We're gonna go back to the arms. So Maggie and I are gonna trade places. We're gonna use the wall for the first push-up here. We're doing an incline push-up. We wanna make sure that your tummy, whenever you're ready, Maggie, okay. make sure those tummy muscles are nice and tight. Again, the trunk is in that plank position. You don't want that back swaying too much. That means you're not using your abdominals enough. It is an arm exercise, so you're gonna make sure that the shoulder, the shoulder blades are nice and tight. They're not doing too much of the, the winging in the back or the protraction in the front. She's doing an excellent job working those arms, working the shoulders. Is that 10? That's 10. Good, she's glad those 10 are done. All right, so the next one she's gonna do are going to be on the desk. So, you, is that okay? Yep. All right, so the next 10, she's doing the reason that that is a progression is because the desk is is a little bit lower. She has more um, gravitational pull through her body, placing more weight through her arms. Again, more resistance, more strengthening. So these are hard, aren't they, Maggie? They are. Yeah, they're not easy. So we're getting a little shaky. That's good. That's a little bit of weakness. So we're working through that weakness. Make sure not to work through any pain. If anything causes you pain when you're doing any of this, take a break. Walk around. Maggie's got a little short of breath already, so that's a good thing. And anyone out there, just take a few breaths. If you're having any pain, lay off and, and ask us about it at the end. All right, so the next seventh exercise are lunges. So Maggie's gonna show you just a forward walk lunge. You get that 10 second rest break, but Maggie's gonna show you, we're gonna do 10 on each side. So Maggie's doing a good job here, keeping those knees in alignment with your ankles. You never want the knee to fall inwards. That's one of the most common mistakes. Another common mistake you can see here, Maggie is doing excellent at keeping her pelvis level. She's got her hands on her, on her pelvis here. It kind of shows you that that pelvis, when she comes down, is not dipping like this. She's keeping those, those bottom muscles, her glutes, nice and tight. So she's doing a set of 10 on each side. Where are we, Maggie? I think this one's seven. Seven, whoo, she thinks it's seven. <laughs> Good, she's doing a good job. Everybody else out there, good job, keep it up. These are not easy exercises. Excellent job, Maggie. Good, she's ready for it to be done. She's ready for it to be done. One more, everybody, good. Last one, she says. Excellent, so let's make sure to give everybody a 10, we'll err on the side of 15 second rest break with this one. Um, so the next progression, again, if you, this is, a, this is a serious progression this time, it's a little bit more power, a little bit more uh, pressure through the joints. So if you had any pain or discomfort or were not able to get through the first 10 of those, I wouldn't recommend this progression. For those of you looking for a little bit more out of the exercise, this is a good progression for you. It is a lunge jump, so it is gonna be quick. Maggie's already done this three times today, so she might not finish these out with all of you at home, but we'll We'll make sure to give you enough time during this video to do them. So Maggie, let's show them what a squat or a lunge jump looks like. Good, it's a quick progression. You're going back and forth, making sure to keep those that pelvis level, making sure that knee doesn't fall in. This is for power, good job Maggie. Yep, you can go back to just doing <laughs> the forward lunges. Again, she's done it three times today, guys. She's doing an excellent job for us. Um, when you do that, again, you don't, you don't want to do it so quickly that you're losing your balance. Make sure those glutes are nice and engaged, and you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it in your, 
your, the back of your calf, you're going to feel it in your quad and the front of your thigh, and you're going to feel it in your bottom, near the glutes in the back. So good, Maggie's doing an excellent job. That's the last one walking, so good job, everybody. We're going to end with a plank. So Maggie's going to do the first plank up against the desk, So and then the second one she'll do is up against the chair so that you all can see it a little bit better. But the plank is in the straight arm position. You don't want those arms locked so that you have that um, the elbows so tight that it's locked. You want just a little bit of bend in those elbows. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we got it. We got the 30-second timer going now. So again, you want those tummy muscles, the abdominals nice and tight. You don't want that low back swaying. You can do this on your desk. You could do this against the wall if you wanted to, if your desk was too much. And again, 30 seconds might be too much for some of you, and that's fine. Start wherever you start. If it's 10 seconds, do three sets of 10 seconds. If it's 15 seconds, great. And I think that this will increase over time. So Maggie's doing an excellent job. Good job, Maggie. And Give her a 10 second rest break, right folks? We're gonna give her, make sure she gets at least 10 to 15 seconds. This is towards the end. We're doing a good job keeping that heart rate up. All right, so we are getting real close to 10 minutes. We're gonna finish up this last one. For those of you who have to leave us, thank you for joining. Um, but Maggie is gonna do one more plank exercise. This is just the progression. Again, just for 30 seconds. Go ahead, Maggie. We're gonna do a, an up and down plank. So she's going down onto her forearm and back up. She's going nice and slow. She's starting with that right arm down and then bringing it the, uh, the left arm down. So we're gonna do 15 seconds with the right arm first, and now Maggie, it's time to switch. Maggie's gonna switch now to the left arm first, making sure that you do this with both arms so that both arms get the lowering motion and the, and the pushing up as well. So she's doing a really good job of keeping this torso nice and tight. She's not letting that low back sway, and she's doing a really good job, and I'm sure so are all of you. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below, and we'll make sure to get to them right after the video is done airing. Thank you so much for joining in. Again, I'm Abby Rosansoff, physical therapist at Unity Point Health. And I'm Maggie Negret, physical therapist assistant at Unity Point Health.